This is a Techlast T10 10.1 inch Android tablet. It's got a MediaTek MT8176 CPU which is a 6 core processor operating from 1.7 to a maximum of 2.1 GHz and it also has a reasonable graphics processor in there. It comes with 4 GB of RAM and an internal memory of 64 GB. Actually once it's powered up you've got about 53 GB available for use because obviously some of it's taken up by the operating system. It's got a laminated 10 point IPS screen made by Sharp. It comes with a fingerprint sensor, it's got GPS, two cameras, 13 megapixels at the front and 8 megapixels at the back. Obviously Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in as well. It's nice and light but it's got a good solid feel to it and it has a metal case. There are a few reasons why I chose to go for this tablet. The first one was that it's got GPS. And the reason that I wanted GPS is because I want to use it for a sat nav. Other reasons are that it's got very good specs as I've mentioned. Had a lot of good reviews on YouTube. And for the price it looks like it's going to be a very good tablet. And I also wanted something that would be good to watch movies on. It arrives very nicely packaged. Inside the box we have the tablet with a screen protector. A USB to micro USB charging cable, a set of instructions and a pin for the micro SD card slot. Also when it arrives you need to be careful because I actually found a charger but it wasn't in the box with the tablet. It was in the packaging from Amazon. Quite a quick start up and straight out of the box it's showing 94% battery charge. So it comes with the battery virtually charged. So to connect it to your Wi-Fi, if you just click on the settings cog at the bottom, select Wi-Fi, turn on Wi-Fi with that little toggle switch there, select your network and enter the password. So we'll have a closer look at the tablet. On the front we've got the front facing camera which is 30 megapixels. We've got a light sensor there and that adjusts the brightness of the screen automatically if you've got that set and enabled in the settings. On the top of the tablet we've got the power button, volume up and down, a micro HCMI outlet and a micro USB. On the left hand side we've got a headphone jack, a compartment for a micro SD card, speaker. On the bottom we've got the microphone and another speaker on the right hand side. On the back of the tablet we've got the rear facing camera and the fingerprint reader. Now I don't know how well this will come out on the video but that is a lovely screen. It's very crisp, it's very clear, the colours are very vibrant. Teclast have put very little bloatware on this tablet and out of the box you've got approximately 53 of your 64 gigabytes of memory available for use. To set up the fingerprint reader go into settings by pressing the cog in the middle there and you'll see that we've got an option there for fingerprint. If you press on that initially when you press on it it will ask you to enter some form of unlocking code or you can use a sh you can draw a shape whatever you want to do but you must do that initially so that it will open up the fingerprint reader and then you can start putting your fingerprints on the fingerprint reader and start using that to unlock the machine and it's fairly simple to do I actually want to add Netflix to this tablet but I can't do it because if you go into the Play Store then Netflix is not available so if you have that problem just click on Chrome and then in the search menu just type in installing Netflix on an Android tablet the first thing that comes up on my browser is this Netflix help page here. So if you click on that, so if we select Android, it gives you instructions there on what you need to do to add Netflix to this tablet. Make sure that you've got unknown sources selected in security. Click here to download the Netflix app. And you can see there it's downloading at the top. Netflix APK. Click on these three dots in the top right hand corner. Go into downloads. There's the Netflix APK, click on that and then install and there we go, Netflix is now installed on the tablet. So that's fairly simple. So I'm going to install a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. The card slot is on the right hand side there. You need this pin in order to insert it, just press the pin into the hole. The card slot pops out. The micro SD just fits in there and then we just pop it in. On the screen it says that there's an SD card detected. You can see there that we've got the SD card on the system. So the tablet is running on Android 7 and that seems fairly stable. It's the first time I've used Android 7 but it looks pretty good. To me the back seems like a weird place for a fingerprint reader. But now that I've gotten used to it I think it's not a bad place to put it because when you're holding the tablet your fingers tend to be in the right position for operating the fingerprint reader. In fact 
I've just operated it by accident there so occasionally it doesn't recognize it but on the whole it's fairly reliable it's an 8100 milliamp battery which is quite a big battery for one of these tablets so I've conducted some experiments with it with the charger that's supplied by the manufacturer it took three hours to take the battery from 50% to 100% with the tablet turned off I left it on standby overnight and it used 1% of battery from 77 to 76% which is very good so on standby it uses very little power but there is an issue with the charger so I was using the tablet the other day and I plugged the tablet in as I was using it using the power supply that's supplied by the manufacturer and although it showed that the charger was connected and it said that the battery was charging the battery level actually dropped it just means that if you're having a fairly heavy session and you're using a lot of power on the tablet and it does last a fair while you're not going to use it up in no time it will be draining the battery if you plug it in now I don't understand why it's doing that so I did some experiments and in one hour with me using the tablet while it's plugged in it went from 59% to 51% on the battery and then I put the thing on standby and left it for an hour charging up and it charged from 51 to 57% so the cameras are pretty good obviously the front camera is better than the rear camera and I'll just put a couple of clips on that I recorded on both cameras so you can see what the video is like on them so this is the rear camera I'll just and this is the front camera now I cannot see what this thing's filming so I'll just do my best I think they're not bad they're not brilliant but they're not bad so the GPS is pretty good the first time I used it it took about two or three minutes to find where we were but since then it seems to be way way quicker and it is very accurate it's saying there we're down to about three meters so GPS I'm impressed with so there's no built-in compass with it unfortunately but uh, I don't need that for the sat nav as far as gaming is concerned I've installed real racing 3 which is quite heavy on graphics and as you can see there's absolutely no issue with that at all uh, to play the game is very easy it's very smooth a nice frame rate good quality video so as far as gaming is concerned i'm pretty impressed with it so the other thing i'd like to add is that the speakers on this tablet are the best of any of the tablets we've got in the house uh, so i think it's got a very good set of speakers on it they're quite loud nice and clear very very good so I'm really impressed with this tablet. It's a budget tablet, but it performs way better than you would expect a budget tablet to perform. It's a real pleasure to use. It's fast and smooth. Great for gaming. It's great for video. I think it's a very competent little tablet, and I'm very glad that I've got it. Good speakers, reasonable cameras. They're not brilliant, but the cameras are okay. A decent battery. You get a fair bit of usage out of the battery. I think really the only issue I've got with it is the fact that it doesn't charge if you've got it plugged in while you're using it which is to me a slight issue so I think this tablet is a good buy I'm really glad I have it so I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching